Spiritual contamination, decontamination. Prayer, fasting, studying God's word, praise and worship are all key components to spiritual decontamination. This is also known as deliverance. One of our privileges as children of the Most High God is the legal right to deliverance. It is not wise to perform deliverance on an unsafe person with an unrepentant heart. Demons have the legal right to reside in an unsaved vessel. So if you are watching this video and you have not yet accepted Jesus as Lord of your life, then please do so prior to seeking deliverance. I encourage you to look in the book of Acts for the account of the seven sons of Sceva for more understanding on this. Please repent of your sins and ask Jesus to be Lord of your life. Unclean spirits are illegal squatters in the spiritual house of a repentant and saved believer. Prayer is a conversation with our Heavenly Father. Fasting is the abstinence of food and other fleshly pleasures. It trains and strengthens our spirits in the area of self-control, bringing us out of our carnal nature. And it sharpens our spiritual senses enabling our spiritual hearing, also called discernment, to sharpen. True repentance, not merely saying I'm sorry, is another key component to spiritual decontamination. Repentance to sin breaks the agreement with the sin. After repentance has occurred, then it is important to renounce and denounce the sin and covenants attached to those sins. Studying the word of Yah is also very important to spiritual decontamination as it washes the spirit man. Worship and prayer cannot be skipped either. Not only is it a delight to be in the presence of the Most High God of all creation, but it is one way to perpetuate the cycle of seed time and harvest in the spirit. Allow me to explain. Please reference Luke 8, 11 through 18, Genesis 8, 22, Genesis 9, verses 1 through 3, and John 6, 63, Yah gives seed to the sower and bread for food. It is a perpetual cycle. We bless and we speak well of him in worship. True worship and praise not only strengthens the believer and draws them closer to Yah, but it also is a secret weapon to winning spiritual battles. Please see 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verses 22 through 25 and Psalm 22 verse 3 for reference. Praise and worship are a kind of seed that we sow into God. He in turn gives us a harvest. I just want to note that his presence is the most amazing harvest that we can ever receive. When we worship him, we minister to him. Our words and acts of worship and praise are seeds. It's a circle, not a triangle like the world shows us. 
true decontamination or deliverance comes from continually seeking the face of the King of Kings. Let's continue to seek his face. We must all repent and ask Holy Spirit to guide us into his truth. We must cry out to God to deliver us of all spiritual toxins, keeping us from his destiny and purpose for our lives. Just as in the previous video, I encourage everyone watching this to continue to seek the Most High for true deliverance. I pray that he uncovers and reveals the areas that need cleansing and decontamination. Spiritual contamination? Have you been exposed? The book will be coming very soon. Please also visit the blog www.onepathtotheway.wordpress.com If this message blesses you or has blessed you, then please bless someone else by sharing. Sharing is caring. So, until the next video, thank you for your time. Shalom and be blessed.